Welcome to this week's Midweek Motivation with your girl Tamika with a Y. I want to invite you to this episode, Pushing Beyond the Pain. And this is your sanctuary for inner growth, awakening, and transformation. I am here to journey with you on the path to a life of not just existence, but profound fulfillment. Now do me a favor. I want you to take a deep breath with me. Inhale love. Exhale gratitude. Do you feel that? That's you touching your inner essence, a place of boundless power and light. You see, today we've gathered for a very special soul conversation, one that could shape the trajectory of your spiritual journey. We're diving deep into the essence of the human experience. Pain. But hold on, this isn't a talk to submerge you into suffering. This is a talk about turning that pain into power, making it a stepping stone to your greater self. Now, I hope you're ready because today we are going to transcend together. Now, I know you may be wondering why focus on pain? Why not about love, success, or joy? Well, it's because those beautiful destinations often lie on the other side of the valley of discomfort. You see, pain is not your destiny, but a landmark along your life's journey, making the spot where you need to shift, to grow, and to ascend. So how do we scale these mountains? How do we cross these rivers of challenges? How do we get beyond these deserts of despair? Well, let's journey together through our life-giving strategies. The first step is to reframe your mindset. Our minds are like magnets. They attract experiences that align with our dominant thoughts. So if your mindset is chained to suffering, that's what you're going to attract. So the next time you're faced with a challenge, don't ask why me. Replace that question with what's the lesson, the lesson I'm supposed to learn. Shift your narrative. See the challenge as an opportunity for soul evolution. Dr. Miles Monroe once said, I don't have problems. I have opportunities. And I want to encourage you to see every issue that you may face as an opportunity to grow. Now, step two is to divide and conquer. When you look at a challenge as a colossal giant, it can paralyze you. And you freeze instead of fighting. There's a quote that says, how do you eat an elephant? The response is you eat an elephant one bite at a time. So instead of freezing and paralyzing and panicking, dissect that giant into smaller pieces. Deal with each element one at a time because each small victory fuels your courage, inching you closer to your ultimate goal. Now step three is to find your support circle. Let's be honest, we are social creatures. We are built to thrive in communities. And yes, your journey may be yours alone, but you don't have to walk in it in isolation. Identify those soulmates who fuel your spirit. Reach out, share your struggles, and allow their strength to magnify yours. Now, step four teaches us practicing of self-compassion. Now, this is something that has been an ongoing theme for all of our episodes. Because self-criticism chains you to your own pain. But self-compassion is the key that unlocks your freedom. Speak to yourself like you would to a dear friend, lovingly, patiently, encouragingly. This compassionate dialogue will lift your spirits and clear your vision. Now, our final step is to celebrate small wins. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, but each step is a triumph. And Proclamation Day, honey, you are still in the game. So celebrate every little victory, no matter how small it is, because it builds momentum, it boosts your morale, and it accelerates your journey to transcendence. So as you contemplate your own journey, reflect on these empowering words by Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. So as we close this episode and prepare for the endless possibilities that await us, remember this, you are not confined by your pain. You are so much greater and grander. 
You have the innate power to navigate through life's turbulence and arrive at a realm of inner peace, boundless love, and unimaginable success. Beyond the horizon of your current situation lies a future that's also bright. It'll illuminate not just your path, but the path of those blessed to know you. So take my hand and journey with me towards this beacon of light. Now, until we intersect again in this sacred space, I want you to keep thriving, keep transcending, and never stop unveiling the divine that is within you. I am so excited to hear about your stories of transformation. Honey, you got this. And I don't want you to ever forget it. Because if we're going to do this thing called life, we might as well do it well. This is your girl Tamika with the Y coming to you with another midweek motivation from your newest and hottest and favorite podcast show, the Tamika with a Y podcast. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Huge shout out to our sponsors, Iyanu Organics, a complete 100% vegan and organic hair care line check them out in your spare time and as always smooches and deuces have a masterful and a purposeful day god bless